when a man's way are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his enemies, he makes even his haters, he makes those who wanted to be against him to be at peace with him. Dear child of God, there is an extent you will love God. There is an extent you will follow God that even your enemies will not be able to do you evil. Rather, they would want to make friends with you. Rather, they would want to come to understand what is happening. Why they cannot do the things they are doing against you. Why they cannot succeed in the things they are doing against you. The word of God in Proverbs 16 verse 7 says, When a man's way are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his haters be at peace with him. And this is so true. Isaac experienced this in his life. In Genesis 26 verse 27, Isaac asked them, Why have you come to me? You were like an enemy and you sent me away. I want you to understand that at this point the Philistines, Abimelech and the rest of the crew had been against Isaac. But when they saw how the Lord had made him prosperous, when they saw how the Lord was pleased with him, they knew they could not do anything against him anymore. And then they would come to him and say to him, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said, Let there be an oath between us and you, and let us make an agreement with you. Dear child of God, this is what will happen for you. When your heart becomes stayed on God, even your enemies cannot do anything against you anymore. All they would do is to find a way to submit, knowing that they cannot succeed in their evil plans against you. The word of God in 1 Peter 3 verse 13 says, Who can harm you if you are zealous for what is good? And God establishes this in the heart of his children and makes sure that it is evidential because everyone who have been wanting to do you evil cannot succeed anymore. And this will be your testimony. Dear child of God, do everything to be conscious of God and he will see to it that nothing the enemy is doing will ever succeed. He said when you give pleasure to the Lord, God will make even your enemies into your friends. God did that also for Jacob. Jacob had an encounter with God in Genesis 32. He had a time with God that the Lord would bless him. And the Lord was pleased with him. And guess what happened? In Genesis 33, his brother Esau would come and embrace him. His brother who had had bitterness against him would come and throw his arms around him because God was already pleased with him. That he would kiss him and they wept together. This was the same man who had vowed to take his life. Dear child of God, God can make this possible for you. That those who have been fighting you at your place of work will come to ask for forgiveness and they would ask you to show them the way to God because they have done everything to destroy you and they could not succeed. Those people who have been sitting on your promotion and saw how the Lord miraculously changed it will come to you and ask you, how do you do it? We want to understand the secret and you will show them the way to God. This will be your testimony. He says, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Dear child of God, when God is for you and your ways are pleasing to him, nobody would ever be against you. And he wants you to know this. He wants you to be conscious of this. So as you find your ways pleasing to him, as you do everything necessary that should be done, your enemies will come submitting to you. Your enemies will come throwing their arms around you because they have seen something in you that they cannot in any way touch. They have seen that you have a special grace that has placed you ahead of them. They have placed you high above each and every one of them. And all they would do, all they would submit to is to be your friend. They fought against Isaac. They did everything they could do against him. But when they saw that the mighty hand of God was upon him, all they would do is to find a way to make an hold with him, is to find a way to make an agreement with him. But also, dear child of God, you need to be conscious. You need to be careful of those who are still trying to make an agreement with you. 
of those who are trying to come around you because they have seen how God is dealing with you. Of those who are trying to come around you because they have seen how God has been good to you. But what they want to do is to see that they destroy every wonderful thing in your life. You need to have discernment. You need to be careful of those people and know how to also treat and deal with them. Because there are those who will not relent. There are some people who will keep on going. Even when they have seen that God's hand is upon you, but they will do all that they would do for there to be a breach. They will do all that they would do for you to expose yourself so that they can strike. Dear child of God, you need to be careful also of these people and do not soar yourself in any way. You need to be careful that you do not expose yourself to be armed. Dear child of God, there are people who clearly do not want your progress, but they will not be able to succeed anymore. Yes, they are truly haters. Yes, they do not like you and they have made it expressive to you. Yes, there are people who do not want to see you succeed, but right in your very eyes, you will be succeeding and they will not be able to do anything about it. They will be seeing you doing great exploits for the Lord because you are known by God and God knows you. He said in Daniel 11 verse 32, They that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Do you know all the chief officials came finding ways to make relationship with Daniel because the mighty hand of God was upon him and they couldn't do anything against him. All that they have tried to do failed and they did not succeed. Even the ones that even attempted and went further, they saw how their lives were destroyed and the rest of the chief officials would do nothing but to come to him to be his friends. Dear child of God, this is what God can do for you. That even those people who have said that nothing good will ever come out of your life will not be able to do anything anymore but to come submitting to you because all the things that they have said will never happen to you have turned around. All the things that they have said you cannot receive, every one of them you have received and God will cause you to be elevated and be above them. Even the king at that time will see the three friends and knew there was something great in their life and will tell them the God of these people are the God we are going to serve. Those who were once an enemy will come and submit to the Lordship of God over their life. Dear child of God, this can be possible for you. Those people who had mocked you can come to that point of saying sorry to you. We were wrong by all the things we have done. We were wrong by all the allegations. We were wrong by laughing and mocking you. Will you ever find it in your heart? to forgive us. This will be your testimony. Those who had pointed accusing fingers at you, dear child of God, soon they will come submitting, asking for forgiveness and you should be able to forgive them because God has been pleased with you and he has caused even your haters to be at peace with you. God was so pleased with Joseph that all his brothers will come. Those who have hated him, his haters, will come submitting because they knew that the mighty hand of God rested upon him. The mighty hand of God will rest upon you and you will do supernatural things for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, no one will be able to arm you anymore because you are zealous for God, because your heart is open to him. He will continually see that you are successful in the mighty name of Jesus. They will come stretching their right hand of fellowship saying please be our friend and it is your choice to decide if you want to or you don't want to but the point is they will not be able to succeed anymore in all the things they are doing against you and in all the things they have done against you dear child of god continue to pleasure god continue to see that your ways are pleasing to god and soon enough you'll be untouchable soon enough it will be evident that God is by your side in the name of Jesus. God favored the Israelites through the Egyptians. He can do that for you. Their enemies were the ones that favored them because God was with them and he can do this for you as well in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.